This is Justin from Abstract Data, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating the ADE 10 Reactive Shaper Eurorack module. It's an all analog design that combines wave shaping, wave folding, and feedback. All the inputs and outputs are DC coupled, so you can interface with most input and control signals found within the modular environment. The onboard power supply is diode and polyfuse protected, and the inputs are diode protected. This will safeguard your module against most common short circuit, over voltage, and reverse voltage problems. The panel is 10 HP wide with elongated mounting holes so you can mount it in DERPFA or analog system style cases. It comes supplied with mounting screws, nylon washers to protect your module against rack rash, and of course, it also comes supplied with a DERPFA style 16 pin IDC cable. Looking at the front panel, on the left side, the first three knobs from top to bottom are manual controls for each of the three shaping stages. On the right hand side, the first three knobs from top to bottom are level controls for the external CV inputs. There's a dedicated input and level control for each of the three shaping stages. By combining the two controls for each stage, you get attenuation and biasing of your CV inputs directly from the front panel. The bottom control on the left sets the volume of the input signal at the pre-effect stage and the bottom control on the right sets the volume of both outputs at the post-effect stage. Both volume controls will give you a gain of up to 50% or attenuation of up to 50%, or in other words, you can increase or decrease the volume of the input and or both outputs by up to 50%. Here you have the three external CV inputs, and as mentioned, there's one for each of the three shaping stages. You have your main signal input, and finally, you have the two outputs. The main output, to the right, is full wave, so it can output AC and or DC signals. The second output, to the left, is half wave rectified, so it outputs the positive voltage content of the full wave output, or, to put it another way, it blocks any negative voltage from that output. This second output makes a great CV source for modules that require only positive input voltages. Both outputs run simultaneously, and again, all inputs and outputs on the ADE10 are DC coupled. The first stage is a subtle wave shaping effect that gives a sound that's a cross between phasing and pulse width modulation. One of the great things about the ADE-10 is that you can get these lovely PWM sounds on waveforms other than just square waves. The second stage is based on a wave folding circuit and essentially folds the input waveform in on itself. It's a little more aggressive, and you'll hear adding squared edges to the symmetry of the waveform. The third stage is a feedback circuit. With this stage, as you increase the level, you're taking an overdriven version of the input waveform and feeding more and more of it back into itself. Let's talk about how the ADE-10 works. The three shaping stages are wired in series, but each stage is also independent. You can use one stage by itself, or you can use multiple stages simultaneously. When using multiple shaping stages, the output of each stage will also be affected by the output of the preceding stage. Stage two will be affected by stage one, and stage three will be affected by stages one and or two, if either of them are in use. The ADE-10 will work with a variety of input types, but it works best with simple, symmetrical, non-rectangular waveforms. That basically means sine, triangle, ramp and sawtooth waveforms, or many of the waveforms derived from combinations of those initial shapes. It will work with other waveforms, and it will also work with a range of CV signals. It works really well with ADSR envelopes, for example but it does its best work where it can add and react to the symmetry of a waveform, and more importantly, where it can interact with the harmonic content of a waveform. So, there you have it, the ADE-10 Reactive Shaper Eurorack module from Abstract Data. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. You're welcome to post comments here on my channel, or if you'd like more info, you're welcome to contact me via the Abstract Data website.